I'm going to kill you. Yeah. Oh, not again. Bugger. Hello my friends and welcome back to Fujits Blitz and well I've decided to do this video because it's clear that a lot of people don't understand the basics. So we're going to look at the very, 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 is that a lot of berries? The very basics of this tank game, that's right, it's a game and it involves tanks called Blitz. <laughs> Welcome to Blitz Basics. First, you'll need a phone. Not this crappy phone. You'll need a better phone. Preferably this one. Yes, or an Android. Either way, a better phone. Alternatively, you could get a tablet. Like this. Yes. Bigger screen. The enemies a lot better. Potentially. Or you could just cheat to get a PC. Why not? The other basics you will need, well, you don't need these, these are personal. Fruit pastels, preferably from Marks and Spencers. Something to chomp on. And Rene, because you'll get stressed and frustrated. You will also need copious quantities of cool, clear coffee. Well, I do, anyway. Or tea. And so, no, 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 you don't need those. Oh, there's a cat. What else do you need? Well, you also need Lots of money. You'll need money. Or alternatively, you can just steal your parents' credit card. Much easier. So now you know the basic setup, let's have a look at the controls. This big round circle moves the tank. Yes, a lot of you don't understand this button. Because I see a lot of you just sitting in the spawn, waiting. It moves the tank. It goes forwards, it goes backwards, it goes left, it goes right. And you can even do donuts in the thing. However, use this button with caution. Press it too far forward, you do what's called a YOLO and you will die. Don't press it at all, you will camp at the back of the map and people will call you horrible names. So we know how to move. The next important button is the one that's round with a shell in. It's a fire button, boom, press it and it does that. That's a good thing, especially if you're aiming at another tank. But don't forget, you need to aim also. To aid you with your aiming, you have binoculars. Press that, you get to see the tank closer, and you can aim at the parts that are pretty weak. If you depress it, however, it goes back out. So, press it, aim, yes! We have success. We also have other buttons, but they're not important, apparently. So, we don't need to cover those, except this one, right at the bottom. It's a communication button, and everybody seems to like pressing that one. So, that's how you do that. So now you understand the very basics. You can play a game. Remember the round thing that you push forward to go forward? Use it now. It would be a wise move. You can even experiment. Go left, go right. Your call. Cool. If you push it too far, you go very fast. That's called the YOLO. We'll deal with that in advanced move tactics in a different video. See the light bulb? That means you can be seen and people will shoot at you. Which is a bad thing. Those red things? That's called the enemy. They are tanks that have got red outlined and above them. You need to shoot those. Remember the basic principle. In this game, you either A, kill the other tanks that have got the red above them, or B, cap the base thingy. The idea is not to sit on Fujit's backside and block him. That makes Fujit very, very upset. So. It is also important to note, at the bottom of the screen, your health bar. When that goes down, you be deaded. You be back to the garage, wrecked and deleted, and that is game over for you. Aiming is also important, unlike that. Ugh, you muppet. Oh, they aim better. Damn it, it happened again. Back to the garage. So, you played your first game. You died, because you're not very good. 
You yellowed. You did silly tactics. And you got blocked because somebody fancies your backside. So you roll out again. In a different tank. On a different map. And you bring other tactics into play. Remember, you push the stick forward, you move. Then, you do this. This is called camping. It's quite an advanced tactic. We'll get to that in a different video, as I said. We'll do advanced noob tactics another time. Stop. So, push your stick forward, move left and right, your choice. Go up hills. Why not? Uh, remember to aim and shoot tanks and then you bounce. Reverse. It's very useful sometimes. Don't forget, aiming. Very important skill. Don't aim, you don't shoot red tank. If you do aim, you shoot red tank. Aiming is a very undervalued skill. You must aim to cause damage. But you must be mindful. You don't always cause a lot of damage. And this is the value of aiming. You get shot, but you shoot back. If this is a skill that is difficult, like it is for me, you do that. You shoot the ground. Not very useful. The idea of the game, kill the tank, not hurt the ground. Remember, aiming, very important skill. Fujit has not mastered aiming, clearly. Sometimes you do aim, but you bounce because the tank has got a lot of armor and it's OP. And then you don't aim. You just fire wildly into the yonder and hope for the best. Remember, aiming, important. Another example of amazing skill. This is called a flanking move. It's a very, very advanced tactic. Some call it the running away. By the way, shooting through buildings, sometimes it works. On other occasions, however, it does not. Yeah, look at the draw. As you can see in this game, most of those red tanks, aka the enemy, have been destroyed. There's just one tank left, and he is employing the incredibly advanced tactic of going AFK. Yeah, sometimes it works. And sometimes it doesn't. It's a very difficult tactic to get just right. But hey, Lots of people try it. There's another advanced noob tactic, blocking the shots. But we'll get to that in a different video. So that's been Fujit's very basic guide to Blitz. By all means, comment, subscribe, send me replays, do all those things. And never forget, stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking, because that is what it's all about, having fun and being happy.